Hello students, I'm myself Mehul Kodia from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in last session we solve a numerical based on penalty approach. So in today's session we have to solve a numerical based on temperature effect. Means up to this we solve numerical for structural problem. Clear? But we don't consider temperature in that numerical. Now we have to solve a structural problem with temperature effect. Okay? So to solve FA problem with temperature effect, so that is uh, one example we have to consider that is a step made by metallic bar made of aluminium e is equal to 17 to 10 to 9 Newton per mm square. Clear modulus of elasticity is given and still E is equal to 200 into 10 to 9 Newton per mm square. E is uh, subjected to axial load of 300 kN at uh, 20 degree Celsius at shown in figure. The temperature is then raised to 60 degree. First temperature is 20 degree. After we applied force, temperature increase up to 60 degree. The coefficient of thermal expansion for aluminium is 23 into 10 to 6 uh, degree per Celsius. Clear? Alpha 1 that indicate the thermal expansion coefficient for the uh, aluminium and for the steel 11.7 into 10 to minus 6 uh, degree Celsius. Okay? The cross sectional area of aluminium that is 900 mm square and cross sectional area of steel that is so. Uh, uh, 1200 mm square. So using FEM determine first nodal displacement, second uh, element stresses and third one the reaction force at support. In this numerical uh, two fixed support is there means node 1 is fixed and node 3 is fixed. Clear that is easy for us because uh, we have to use elimination approach for solving this numerical. So first of first column, third row, third column we have to remove. Okay. Now we have to solve this numerical solution. First, write down the given data. A1 is equal to 900 mm square. A2 is equal to 1200 mm square. L1 is equal to 200 mm. L3 is equal to 300 mm. A1 is equal to 17 to 10 raised to 3. We have to consider 17 to 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square. Okay. A2 is equal to 200 into 10 raised to 3 newton per mm square. Uh, um, P2 is equal to 300 into 10 raised to 3 newton. And delta T means we have to take a temperature difference. Highest temperature 60 degree, lowest temperature 20 degree. So difference is 40 degree. Alpha 1 that is the thermal expansion coefficient of uh, aluminium that is uh, 23 into 10 raised to minus 6. And for the steel that is 11.7 into 10 raised to minus 6. First step that is discretization process, element one number one mounted between node one and two and element number two mounted between node two and three. That's why element one indicate node one two, element two indicate node two three. Okay. Now uh, we have total two elements. So we have to find out element stiffness matrix for the two elements. So element number one. Now we already we have equation of element stiffness matrix k1 is equal to a1 a1 upon l1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 put value of a1 a1 and l1 over here a1 is equal to 900, e1 is equal to 17 to 10 raised to 3. In denominator, write down 200, 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1. Take 10 raised to 4 as a common, where we have to multiply remaining value inside the matrix. 10 raised to 4 in matrix 31.5 minus 31.5 minus 31.5, 31.5. We have to give row number and column number as a 1, 2 because element number 1 mount between not 1 and 2. Same method, we have to find out element stiffness matrix for the now uh, second element. So K2 is equal to A2 A2 upon L2, 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 is equal to write down value of A2, 1200 into 200 into 10 raised to 3. In denominator, write down 300. Take 10 raised to 4 as a common and we have to multiply remaining value inside the bracket. So 10 raised to 4 in bracket 80 minus 80 minus 88. Okay, so this is the element stiffness matrix. Now we have to combine these two matrix and it's called a global stiffness matrix and you all know how to combine two matrix, okay. If the global stiffness matrix, uh, write down 10 raised to 4 as it is because in both the matrix we take 10 raised to 4 as a common in bracket 31.5 minus 31.5 minus 31.5, 31.5. In corner point of first matrix, write down second matrix and uh, whatever value is overlap, we have to give addition of that. So plus 80 minus 80 minus 80, 80 in the remaining value we have to consider as a 0. So that is the global stiffness matrix and answer of global stiffness matrix. Uh, the size of global stiffness matrix is 3 cross 3 because the total number of nodes in this numerical that is 3. Clear? That's why size of global stiffness matrix is 3 cross 3. So k is equal to 10 raised to 4 in bracket 31.5 minus 31.5 0 
माइनस थर्टी वन पॉइंट फाइव वन वन ट्रिपल वन पॉइंट फाइव माइनस एट जीरो माइनस एट एट रो नंबर वन टू थ्री कॉलम नंबर वन टू थ्री दिस इज दंसर ऑफ ग्लोबल अपूमेरिकल आर सैम क्लियर Either elimination approach, penalty approach, temperature. For whatever example, we have to use a STEM method up to three step. Okay. Now we have to find out element load vector. Now for the element number one, this is the equation of the element load vector for the temperature effect. Clear? You have to remember the this equation F one for element uh, load of element one F one is equal to A one E one alpha one delta T minus one one. You have to remember this equation. A one indicate cross sectional area. E one indicate uh, modulus of elasticity. Alpha one indicate thermal expansion coefficient. Delta T that is we already find. We uh, we have all this value. Put all the value over here. Nine hundred into seventy into ten to three into two twenty three into ten to minus six into forty minus one one. Whatever value you you will get after the multiplication of all the value, you have to multiply that value inside the matrix, and you will get answer of F one that is minus five seven nine six zero and five seven nine six zero, and we have to write down not number in element number one mounted between not one and two. That's why we write down not one two. Clear vertically we have to write down not one two. Element number two same way same equation you have to find out F two is equal to A two E two alpha two delta T minus one one. Put value of a to e to alpha to a delta t over here. Multiply all this value. Multiply that value inside the bracket. That is minus eleven two three two two zero eleven two three two zero. Clear? That is not two three because in uh, element two mounted between not two and three. Okay. So that is the uh, in first element uh, we write down not one and two. In second element we write down not two and three. Now we have to multiply the. We have to add these two matrix. Now we have to take three not. That's why we have to combine these two matrix and combine these two matrix like one, two, and three. So first write down first matrix as a one, two, and you have to overlap that uh, second uh, second value of first matrix and uh, uh, first value of second matrix. Clear? You have to add these two value for find out the total load vector. Now we have to find out global load vector. F is equal to F one plus F two. That is the element load vector, and plus P means uh, we already applied some external force over here. So that external force we have to consider compulsorily. Clear? So F one. How to combine F one plus F two? So first you have to write down one two three not number. So minus five seven nine six zero five seven nine six zero. Now at the second end point of first matrix you have to put down the second matrix. So minus eleven two three zero and eleven two three zero plus R one first node is first node is fixed that's why that is reaction force uh, and uh, second that is three hundred kilonewton and uh, third node is fixed that is that is R three. Now you have to add these two matrices. Clear minus five seven nine six zero plus R one minus five four three six zero plus three hundred uh, three uh, three lakhs. And eleven two three two zero plus R three clear and the final load vector that is minus five seven nine six zero plus R one two four five six four zero and eleven two three two zero plus R three one two three indicate or the not one not two and not three this is the global load vector this is the global load vector of combined effect external force as well as temperature effect you have to remember that clear so. In global load vector, you have to consider external force as well as the force of temperature effect. Clear? And you have to remember that how to combine F one and F two. Okay? F one have not one two, F two have not two three. So you have to first write down value of one two. After that, the second value you have to write down value of two three and add the value. Clear? So this is the global load vector. Now you have to find out global nodal displacement vector. Global nodal displacement vector means u one, u two, u three. Displacement at node one, node two, and node three. Clear. Displacement at node one and node three we have to consider as a zero because the node one and node three is a fixed support. Now what is the relationship between uh, stiffness force and nodal displacement? That is K U is equal to R. It is nothing but it is the formula of stiffness. Stiffness is equal to force upon deflection. So stiffness into deflection is equal to force. 
So 10 raised to 4 in bracket, we already derive a global stiffness matrix. Write down over here global stiffness matrix 31.5 minus 31.5 0 minus 31.5 triple 1.5 minus 80 0 minus 80 80 u1 u2 u3. That is the nodal displacement is equal to global load vector that we already derived. Clear? Now nodal displacement. So in this matrix, we have to remove out first row, first column and third row, third column because we solve this numerical using elimination approach and uh, uh, we have to in this numerical node 1 and node 3 is fixed. So displacement at node 1 and 3 is 0. So u1 and u3 is 0. So we have to just find out value of u2. That's why whatever node is fixed, we have to remove out that number of row and that number of column from this matrix. Clear? If you remove first row first column and third row third column, then remaining value that is 10 raised to 4 into triple 1.5 u2 is equal to 245640. And you will get answer of u2 that is 0 0.2203 mm. This is the answer of displacement of node 2. Clear? Now we have to find out stresses in element. We have total 2 stresses, so we have to find out total 2 element stresses. Elements here for 1. Now you have to remember equation of the element stresses for the temperature effect that is sigma 1 is equal to E1 upon L1 minus 1 1 E1 U2 minus E1 alpha alpha 1 delta T. You have to remember this equation of element stresses for the temperature effect. Clear? So E1 upon L1 minus E1 plus U2 minus E1 alpha 1 delta T. Put all the value over here E1 L1 U1 U2 E1 alpha 1 delta T. We have all this value. Put all the value over here and you will get answer of sigma 1 that is 12.706 Newton per mm square. Clear? Using SAM equation, you have to find out uh, element st uh, ele uh, stasis for the element 2. That is sigma 2 is equal to E2 upon L2 minus 1, 1 U2 U3 minus E2 alpha 2 delta D. You have to just remember this equation. Clear? Put all the value in this equation. Find out answer of sigma 2. Put all the value E2, L2, minus 1, 1, U2, U3, E2, alpha 2, delta D. And you will get answer of sigma 2. That is minus 240.467 Newton per mm square. Clear? This is the element ratio. Now we have to find out support reaction. Now reaction at support 2 and is fixed. So we have to find out reaction of R1 and R3. We have one equation is there. If we multiply first row with first column is equual to minus 57960 plus R1 and we get answer of R1. If we multiply third row with column is equal to uh, 112320 plus R3 and we get answer of R3. Clear? So first uh, we have to multiply first row with column. So 10 raised to 4, 31.5 U1 minus 31.5 U2 plus is equal to minus 57960 plus R1. Now we have value of u1 into 2. u1 value is 0. Put value of u2 and find value of r1. r1 that is minus 11.4345 into 10 raised to 3 newton. Now for the second reaction uh, support reaction, you have to multiply third row with first column. So 10 raised to 4 minus 80 u2 plus 80 u3 is equal to 112320 plus star 3. Find out value of r3 that is minus 288.56 into 10 raised to 3 newton. If you add the value of R1 and R3 and you will get answer of minus 300 kN. Means our example is 100% totally right because we applied 300 kN force in positive direction and we get minus 300 kN force in negative direction. That means our example is 100% correct. Clear? So this in this numerical we, you have to just remember two equations. First equation for the element stresses and second equation for the find out the load vector in temperature effect. Uh, except all the process uh, remains same. Clear? So in next session we have to start one new topic that is trust and make. Thank you.